Hey YouTube family, I'm back for another series of the van vlog episodes. <laughs> Anyways, also, um, okay, so first of all, uh, I just had my echocardiogram done. This is a health update video. Um, I'm currently still on my heart monitor, which I've got, I'm all plugged in right here, and I've got it, I've got a holster on the side here. Um, so anyways, I'll, I just want to address this real quick though. So whenever I wear a ponytail, this is, this is why I don't, because it starts out back here, you guys, like a normal ponytail. And then at some point, my hair just decides that we're in the 80s and it needs to be on the side of my head. So that's this. <laughs> this is me. We're in the 80s. Anyways, okay. So I'm, I'm going to pretend that I have a selfie stick here and hold this out really far while people stare at me from the parking lot again while I give you an update on the stress test. So I don't think I did a video, but last week after that whole thing with the car, the, if you didn't see that, by the way, our mechanic was keeping our car and was trying to charge us $7,000 and we had to like lawyer and all this crap. But if you see the video that posted yesterday, you'll know what happened and the car, we gave it back and all this stuff. So long story short, that got resolved. But last week when all this was happening, I was really stressed out, obviously, because the bank was calling us and saying, oh my God, you owe 10, 20, 000, whatever. Like they, uh, uh, stressful if you think that you owe the bank $20,000. And uh, that night I got home and my heart monitor <laughs> was, had come in the mail and I was thinking, why couldn't this have came six hours earlier? Because it would have recorded all this. So anyway, so I'm on a cardiac monitor. If you guys have been following along, um, we are currently, well, we're traveling full time, but we took a little bit of a break to get all of this health stuff taken care of before we head out again in January. Um, and if you're curious about traveling and how we're traveling or why, there's a playlist on my channel just strictly dedicated to travels and questions. And if you ever have any questions about full-time traveling or in general, or you have an idea for a vlog, just leave it in the comment section because I try to go through my comments two to three times a week and get back to as many as possible. So, all right, now no more distractions. I'm gonna tell you about this thing. So for those of you that saw, I'm on the heart monitor and the reason that I'm having these appointments is because they're trying to figure out what's going on with my heart rhythm. Why was I getting body zaps after I was working out? Um, is it, does it have anything to do with my adrenal insufficiency slash low cortisol? They wanted to be sure. So way back when I was in high school, I'd had all of these things done, uh, tilt table test, stress test, echo, and they diagnosed me with neurocardiogenic syncope. Now, as far as I know, there's no genetic links. However, my dad does have it, and my dad was also like predisposed to atrial fibrillation, and he's had some heart attacks and is on some really sketchy medication that I just refuse to take ever. So that's why I'm going on this health journey. While I want to know like what's going on with my heart and make sure there's nothing structurally wrong, I'm also taking steps to heal my body through food, lifestyle and just I believe that our body can heal once it's given the proper tools. I know that's not everybody's thoughts but that's my thoughts. So um, they're just trying to figure out is there something structurally wrong with my heart though that's causing these abnormal rhythms and just when I stand up sometimes I kind of like black out a little bit and I have episodes where I faint. So they gave me the heart monitor and I'm wearing this for um, three more weeks and actually the past two days so not yesterday but the day before um, I could tell my cortisol was low I had what I call a crash day and ironically it all seems to link up to my lady cycle because that's the days I get tired but ironically this was after I was super tired and then the past 48 hours my heart monitor would just kind of start to like buzz and make this like and I'd look down and I hadn't pressed any buttons and here it was recording an event. 
So this thing, unlike another, the other monitors that you wear, this thing is always recording and it has like built-in sensors to, it'll detect if there's an abnormal rhythm or something and then it'll automatically capture that and then transmit it to the database, but it's constantly going. And then I can press the button too, like if I feel funny, I can push it and it'll do it itself as well. So anyways, that happened, I think it was either, it was between four to six times. So let's just say it started recording like five times the past two days. I'll just be walking. And it was also when the kids were stressing me out and it was just like, <laughs> so, okay. And so then today I had the echocardiogram. So an echocardiogram is, they're using an ultrasound, a wand, to take a look at my heart, to look at the blood flow and the valves and the structure, I believe. I think that's what they were doing. So that's what they did. I went into this room and the tech was really friendly. Uh, her name was Megan. And we got to talking. You have to put on this little gown, which like, you know, opens the front and then your boobs just are like, Bleh. <laughs> hello. So that was great. I mean, no better way to get to know somebody than taking your boobs out in the first three minutes. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> then you have to put that gown on and then they use the gel and then they like put these electrodes on so that they can take a look at your heart, see what's going on in there. And just like you're having an ultrasound, if you have any kids or if you imagine what an ultrasound would be like, it's the same thing, only they're looking at your heart. So when she puts the thing on there and she'll move it around, um, it didn't hurt, but I will say the whole procedure took about 15 minutes and after like 15 minutes of pressing and, or like five minutes of pressing and rubbing in the same area, it, it got a little like uncomfortable sore, but it was never like, oh my gosh, this hurts. So pretty quick, pretty painless. Um, she did, I think she caught, I don't know if she caught it for sure, but when I change positions, my heart will like flip flop, like boom, boom almost like it kind of like stops and then restarts. So she saw it. I don't know if she caught it. Um, but it was just, it was just, it was just really fascinating to see like on the screen, I'm looking over and I'm like, my gosh, that's my little heart just beating up there. <laughs> and it was just like bloop bloop. And then they also record a video of the blood flow and that was it. So the next video, I will have to let you guys know. Um, I'm also going to do Oops, I'm also going to do a little mini series all about the heart monitor. Um, so that way, if you guys have a heart monitor and you have questions, there's a lot of things I'm figuring out now as I'm wearing it. I'm also going to be having a sleep study done on a couple weeks, actually a week and a half. So I have to go into the clinic and I'm going to stay overnight and they're going to watch me sleep because a lot of my incidences happen when I'm trying to fall asleep. It'll just do like a, I don't even know how to describe it. So there's that, but overall I feel really good. Um, I've been working my nutrition plan, um, drinking my celery juice and getting back to my workout. So it's pretty exciting. So there's my update. Thank you guys for watching, coming along this journey. I just want to continue to encourage you to be graceful with yourself, to, if you're on a healing journey, to continue to look up alternate methods of healing and look for, be the person that looks for the people that have healed. You know, I think a lot of times when we go on to Google, it's tempting to be like, oh my God, worst case scenario. And you look it up and you're like, see, somebody died from it. You know, and instead I, I find myself being like looking for people who have healed these things naturally. You know, what were they diagnosed with? What did they do? Um, and a lot of it has to just do with food lifestyle, eliminating stress, and adding in like a lot of love into their life. So I know that sounds totally crunchy and totally hippie, but you guys, my body's been healing through different diagnoses for years. Like I, I you know, I don't, I've never shared this. I, I don't think on YouTube, but I was diagnosed with like kidney things and they thought I had kidney dysfunction and they wanted to give me these injections that I would have been on for like ever. And my body, you know, healed through that. Now, 
I'm going a little deeper than I wanted to with this video. Long story short, I think all of the things, I don't think I had kidney problems and a separate heart problem and a separate whatever hormone imbalance or thyroid or cortisol. I think it's all related. Um, I've talked about that in my other video. I think the thing that was the underlying root of all my health problems was the EBV, Epstein-Barr virus, that I contracted when I was a teenager. And if I trace back all of my health problems, it really started there. So that's what I've been working through. And there are ways to heal your body from the Epstein-Barr virus, which can cause problems in your kidneys and your thyroid and hormones and autoimmune and PCOS and like literally everything I had, endometriosis, PCOS, like ovarian cysts, hormone imbalance, estrogen dominance, any single thing I've ever been diagnosed with could be traced back to that. So there's that. I did a whole separate video on that. I did a blog post on that, um, talking about that. And there you go. That's, <laughs> this is my healing journey. So I had my uh, echo test today. I had a stress test last week. I have a sleep study coming up and then all of my lab and panels are going to be drawn before we leave. So I will keep you posted. Thanks for coming along this journey. I'm very excited because I feel like I have the energy for the first time ever to be able to truly, truly get back to my workout program and sustain it. And overall, I would like to lose 50 pounds. Um, I'm sitting at like my upper 180s-ish right now and I feel great. I feel really happy and healthy. And when I look at my body, I'm like, oh my God, I'm cute. But I know that I think I could improve physically, although my ultimate goal isn't a physical number. It's like how I want to feel when I'm at a certain weight. And ultimately, my goal is health. Um, I want a healthy body. I want a strong body. I want to live a long time. And I want to support my body nutritionally and use food as fuel. So blah, blah, blah. There's all that stuff. I'm going to head into the library. I hope I'm not boring you. Thanks for following along. If you'd like to see my daily behind the scenes, I would love to welcome you to join me on Instagram stories or my public Facebook page of stories. So here's those links or somewhere around here. Have a great day. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. What are you doing? Like, what are your plans for this holiday season? I would love to know. Let me know. I'll check the comments. See you later. Bye guys.